Hi everybody, this is a video to show you how to take through Design Space these two new SVGs to cut party food boxes. They're aimed at um, children, for children's parties really, and they have a cup sleeve and a french fries box and a box for other snacks in, in food box A. And food box B has those same boxes, but then also a little space to take a deli pot or a, a dessert cup or a yogurt or something, whatever you want to put in there. So I'll bring the the box A in first. So even though this actually has fewer compartments than the other one, it's in a different arrangement. It's a long, thin box. Um, and so to cut the main box, this actual um, thing that holds all the cups and stuff, you need the long mat and A3 paper or tabloid or ledger paper. Um, so what first thing we need to do is convert score lines. So with any multi-part SVG with score lines, it should ideally come in in three groups. There'll be this overall group that's got everything in it. And then within that, there'll be two subgroups, one that's got your scores in and one that's got all your cut pieces in. So just select that first subgroup by clicking on the name of it. That's the second line down in your layers panel. Go over to your operations menu, click on basic cut and choose score from the drop down menu. And you can see that those lines get converted now. And while they're still convert, while they're still selected, pardon me, because there's more than one, we need to ungroup them. I'm on the PC version, um, desktop version for PC and ungroup is at the top of your layers panel. Second step is to select the subgroup below with all the cut pieces in it and all we need to do there is ungroup. And the third step is to select absolutely everything on screen. Quickest way to do that, I think, is to click on that remaining group in your layers panel and ungroup. So now everything on canvas is a separate piece and we can go ahead and attach each individual set of scores to the individual cut piece that they relate to. You've got to do it individually. If you select the whole um, SVG and attach it all together, you'll get a message that the project is incompatible with your machine and that you can't cut it. So quickest way, I think, to select an individual piece is to click on canvas somewhere near a piece, drag a box to more or less enclose it, you don't have to go all the way around, and click on attach at the bottom of your layers panel. If you're on a mobile version, these commands will be elsewhere, but that's the name of the command you want. So you need to do that, drag and select with every piece on screen that has score lines, and actually every piece of this project does. Then the individual the cup sleeve and the french fries box and the box for other snacks they're all small enough to cut from a4 just um those two easily this one a little bit is a bit of a squeeze but you can do it uh, but as i say you need the long mat and larger card for these two pieces so we'll go ahead and click make it and see what happens so yes, it's put those on the long mat and I would choose A3 for that, but they will also fit on tabloid, which is the US equivalent of A3. Again, choose A3 there. Okay, and these smaller pieces, it does let you click A4, but then that one disappears. So I'm just going to show you what we need to do there. It's this piece, which is 205 millimeters wide, more or less. So you've only got five millimeters to play with out of a sheet of A4. And if you're using letter in the US, you've only got a couple of mil to play with on the length. So, um, can I definitely get that on a mat on its own? Yeah, I know what we'll do. So, as I said, we'll definitely choose A3 or tabloid for the main box pieces for this. We're actually going to choose 12 by 12 or 30.5 by 30.5 as it is in the UK. But you're just going to use your standard mat and you're going to put a sheet of A4 on there. Just position it a little bit, maybe a couple of millimetres away from this very left hand first white line on your mat. And then you'll have a little bit more at this side to play with. But in actual fact, it's the glue tab anyway. So it won't matter if you just shave that tiny corner off there. You won't see it once it's assembled. But if you move your paper over, it will fit. You've got five millimetres to play with. And then these under here, that's the cup sleeve. See, it looks as if that... Oh, it won't if you're using A4, obviously, will it? No. 
Okay. So A4, you need three A4s and two A3s for the um, main box. But if we use 12 by 12, I think we can probably put that on the same mat as that one. We'll try it anyway. Yeah. Can you? Yes, you can. It just fits on there. So you'd need two 12 by 12s. Two 12 by 12s and two tabloid or A3 uh, to cut box A, food box A. Right, I'm not going to cut it, so we'll go back, delete that, and I'll bring in food box B now, which is this square one. Don't be worried, I should have mentioned it on the other one, that these look like solid red circles. It's just because... The score line in that case is a solid line, which means that when you come to score it, it'll do it all in one rather than going round in four pieces. I could ungroup them, but I don't think there's any point. And you can see that when you actually select your score lines, so again, I'm clicking on that second line down in the layers panel to select the whole of that first subgroup. You'll see that when you actually make them scores, that colour red goes away and you can see the score as you would normally. So again, we need to ungroup those because there's more than one set. Click on the second subgroup to select all the cut pieces and ungroup them. And then select everything on screen and ungroup again. And now we need to attach the scores to individual pieces. So click on canvas somewhere near a piece, drag a box to enclose it and click attach. You do get a PDF of very comprehensive instructions with lots of photographs to help you with this. And there's always a diagram at the beginning explaining what each piece is. But I think it's fairly self-explanatory, really. So this box, um, even though it's got more inserts, so arguably you can get more in it, it will actually cut from 12 by 12, the main box here. So you can do the whole of food box B on your standard mat. So let's do that and see what happens. So yeah, we can select 12 by 12 for the main box. And again, we're going to have, if we select 12 by 12 for these, we will put that one on the same mat as the fries box. And we'll just twirl it around so it fits. And you can see that Design Space actually makes it hop into place then. And then this is the box for other snacks and that will go on its own. So for food box B, you need four sheets of 12 by 12. That's actually the uh, slightly more economical one to cut, isn't it? It just depends whether or not for your particular children's party, you want to include uh, a, a dessert cup as well as your drink. Okay, that's that. They're pretty easy to cut, really. And as I said, you do get your PDF of instructions to help you with assembly. When you come to make it, if you have any problems at all, don't ever hesitate to get in touch. I'm always happy to help. It'll be something and nothing and we'll be able to sort it out. The links to get in touch are in the description below. You can contact me on Etsy or Facebook, whichever you prefer. And if you've just stumbled across this video and you'd like to buy the SVGs, the link to do that is also in the description below. Thanks a lot. Bye.